It's like when you get those uh, advent calendars and you get all the way up to fucking the 16th day of Christmas, mm -hmm. even though it's the second day of December. <laughs> We're starting off strong. <gasps> <laughs> Blaster! Is this good? Oh, well, a legendary is kind of rare. So. Baja's bigger blaster. Let's get this. We got, this is, this is the thing. The, the only, I didn't know you could even get legendaries from the golden chest. But it turns out, I was the legendary. How much would it be if we sold it? Can I put green beans in the Tinder podcast roll or no? Yes. Of course. Are you sure? Yes. yes. Okay. 2k 2k you can get the gearbox legendaries from the box uh now let me read the statistics here about baja's bigger blaster let's hear about that we just unlocked a a, a Shiva, bro. I know. Oh, so uh, we have two skill points. I open up Chrome and the first thing that comes up is fucking activate your penguin for club penguin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what, what do you want to spec? We have two skill points. I just want max damage. So crit and then uh, melee. Damage. Yeah. Uh, bullet damage. Yes. We're going to be slaying. Poonani and... No, we can't say that. Okay, this is rare. Well, this is specific to the enhanced edition. Okay, so uh, what's its what's its drop chances or chances of what's your drop chance, baby? Along with the five weapons added when uh, Borderlands Game of the Year enhanced edition, Baja's Bigger Blast has a one in six chance to spawn in the middle of a chest that spawns in the vault after the destroyer is killed. Oh no, they spoiled it. No, I mean what destroyer? More like destroy my. That like button. <laughs> you gotta do a fucking smash that fucking like button. Uh, what's we? What's your favorite arid hills? Um, that's the question for today. It's a question in the comments. Put a smiley face. Do we really make have to the funny eight equal signs equal sides capital D? Yeah, I'm not gonna fight through this area. It's like when you activate stealth in an MMO, and then it, you fucking sprint or something, and you get all the mobs on you. Isn't that relatable? Um, yeah. What's the- okay, bandits in Borderlands 2 were like, oh, I'm gonna fucking rip off your skin and shit down your neck. <laughs> what do they say in this game? They're like, we're gonna politely ask you to leave my camp. While we throw axes and grenades at you. You know what, sometimes, it's just like in good old fashioned America where you can shoot someone for looking at your daughter wrong. Have you seen the footage of a, it's like, it's these two redneck guys, it's like a father and a son, you got that jump, and then they shot this girl's husband. It's just terrible. It's <laughs> it's just terrible. I mean, what 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 bad guys aren't they? Um, yeah, Americans literally the worst. Since we're like in a uh, fucking snake eater, we're we're an army without a country. We're a rebel without eater, a clue. Peace walker. We need to play Metal Gear. Metal. Yeah, we'll do on the PSX. We got some great RNG. This game has no skill. Huh. No RNG. Uh, more like no pills. More like duct tape setups. I think the game that requires the most skill is fucking orange juice. Unrefined orange juice coming later. Mm. Oh yeah, for the after hours show. No, it's uh at night be streaming live to you, our audience. Watch this, this is a, this is a, this is a tip. So you get it through the wall, you jump up, and you, you jump up, grab it through there, 
This is the speedrun technique. And you... Let me talk Get that shit. I know you can get them, yeah. Then you get the bank S to you. It's speedrun strats, I should get it. I'm the best. I'm the map, I'm the map. Um, look how much back I slot we have now. That's like a We're gonna be slaying it. You know how much shit we can have in that backpack slot? At least 12. At least four cubic centimeters of ham. Of milk steak. <laughs> Shout out. All, all RNG. I wasn't gonna kill him, but. Oh, look, there's. That ain't no claptrap. Oh, he's not dead. Fight for your life. Why is this like... This is just like shooting fish in a barrel. Watch this. Uh, loot Crate sponsored this video. Let's see what's in the Loot Crate. Kind of weird they put in guns in this Loot Crate. New, better shield though. It's like when they put in the... Uh, the... Fist thing. What's it fucking called? Thanos. Thanos glove, and it was supposed to be a cooking mitt, and, and people were burn burning hand. their hands. <laughs> Let's talk about that. Why does loot crate suck? But anime crate is better. Yeah, sponsor loot anime, whatever it's called. Give us a uh, go go nippon. Give us lucky star. I buy sausage. Here we go. Slay him. Oh! I, I love killing. And it's like, okay. I have to say that Face McShooty is one of the most well developed characters. Um, I mean, the the guy whose sister sounds like Tiny Tina, uh, Matt Matthew Birch? Mm hmm. Uh, best writer. He wrote Borderlands Double Rainbow. Too. Into Borderlands. Yeah, he was ahead of his time, even though it was a 2008 meme. You're just a 2008 meme. You also put Lord of the Rings. You know, I've never read a Lord of Ring, watched a Lord of Ring, heard a Smeagol. I watched um, Return of the King way too much. Were you one of those Melvins in school that always brought up? No. There was a girl. That was also a boss. Oh, <laughs> just fucking slayed him. Slayer. Don't add us at Ninja Hot Foot Lo <laughs> Lost or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I can see your name. There was a girl, uh, and she was really into World of Warcraft, and I thought she was the biggest Melvin, and now I think she's the most radical kid I've ever met. Who? Actually, don't say their name. Uh, I, well, this, I was like in sixth grade or something. You know what? There's a fucking voice in my head. What was it? What's your name? Like Angel? Bobber. Bobber? Yeah. She's Sh Flavinia's Sh ex lover. Because it's accepted now. It isn't though. You go to China and they still cut off your hands. Yeah, but you can only have a one child with a one partner. Howdy. Partner. Oh, are you doing some zombie training shit? What was that? <laughs> Shut up. I lost. Or I'm in lost. I lost. You see? All planned. There's a box here. Legendary. Right here. Hyperion. Yeah, that was a strat. It's <laughs> like when you punch a guard and right run <laughs> to get to the <laughs> to get the dragon's reach. Come on. Uh, there's burst fire uh, <laughs> launches in this game. Uh, is this patched up so we can't do like any infinite ammo shit? I don't think there was any infinite ammo in this game ever. Can you unlock your uh, scroll wheel? I think that's what Baru did when you have that Jacob shotgun. Yeah, no, you unlocked your scroll wheel and it would fire as fast as you can pull the trigger. I'm so lost. I'm no longer lost. Uh. Seriously, you, you traveled 
travel to a DLC and then you travel back. To get rid of the enemies? No, to not have to walk. Because walking is for poor. My first husband was a dirtbag and a cheat. No! My second husband was fun. I figured by then. Oh, Scott Pilgrim throws the world. <laughs> my, my first husband was a emo dude. And then he was a vegan drunk. Was it? Well, I don't even remember. We're still friends. These fucking- they are all Melvins. They were all Melvins. All Melvins. And then you- they killed them. I wanna find a copy of Scott Pilgrim vs. They don't make that game no more. Uh, I think that's on PSN for, like, PlayStation 3. And I think that's shutting down in a couple of years, but... Beat-em-ups are cool. Everyone play a beat-em-up once in your lifetime. Uh, new question, what's your favorite beat-em-up? Uh, is it Castle Crasher? I've never played Castle Crasher. Is it Alien Hominid? Is it Double Dragon? Is it... I like how kind of dated that shit is. It's like, you're these two swat-ass men, and then <laughs> some guy clocks your girlfriend, throws him over his shoulder, and just starts walking. I wanted to, uh play River City Girls. It's like River City Guys, which was like a Double Dragon-esque game. Yeah. But it had cute girls. I can only play as a female character. Yeah, it's, it's You're gay if you don't. Oh! I don't think it's gay. It's just... I am not a jacked, muscular, Hugh Jackman-style man. I think it's the problem nowadays that... You know, women always talk about unrealistic body standards, but men have to deal with that too. I don't have a 48-inch cock. Yeah. And neither do you. Like, I, I play a Skyrim mod and it allows me to adjust my foul size. And it makes me feel better. Yeah. Oh, we got, we leveled up. Okay, what's the story so far? We're just killing these bandit leaders or um, some shit right now. I think it's because we want the vault key so we can go in there and talk about our feelings with a monster. Yeah, uh, Pandora's monsters. Box. How do I feel? Creatures lie here, flying through the windows. Name that song, the Nightcore version, not the actual version. Uh, whatever the song is called, Nightcore. Yes. Yeah. Or maybe that's just the actual song, and um... And you're just joshing me. This shotgun has some range. Um... Of course, it's special edition. Yeah, it's... You know, oh, okay. What? Some games you can start up and be like, Yeah, I want the DLC immediately. And then you kinda... What sucks about that is you're like overpowered and you don't have to feel the this pain is, and suffering. You can like else. level up to level 15 before you do anything in this game just by doing the DLC. You can do that with really any game. Like in Final Fantasy VII, you go outside of uh, Midgar and you go to that forest where the reactor shit is. Yeah. And then you grind to level 99 and then you um, just fly through the game and you. Uh, be the fucking ruby weapon, and then you throw away your memory card. <laughs> Is that the uh, the game plan? Yeah. I look too much at my mini map. Like I have a mini map in a game, and that's all I'm leaving. No, this part sucks. There's balls in my mouth anytime like this happens. Oh, this is like. Have you played uh, Bloodborne? No. Then I won't say. I won't say anymore. Get him. And this is thrilling, thrilling gameplay, man. This is a beautiful time of gaming. You're playing Gears of War. Yeah. And <sighs> you're chugging your Mountain Dew. Gears of War is a difficult game for me because I think it's one of the most boring, least boring games in the world. Uh, I used to watch, uh, there used to be, well, he's, still, he's still the streamer, Gold Glove, and he was fucking slaying it on, uh, that game. And it's just like, you manipulating your cover system to dodge bullets and to hopefully get the headshot with a shotgun. I mean, I think it was just boring. No, the the, the, the gameplay was pretty fun. I think the plot was boring. You're like, we are the, the Covenant Hunters. They're like, also mega chuds. <laughs> they were, um, 
They had they had dick size on their side. Yeah, oh, yeah, they were like they had girth on their girth, you know. Yeah. We oh wait, you know what we have to do when we? No, I'm not gonna spoil it. If you remember, you remember. That man got his entire arm shot off. Yeah, I don't like gore in my game. I don't like girls in my game. Shout out. Shout out to the one we're playing right now. <laughs> you got cucks right there, bro. Of course, this is beefy Samuel over here. Uh. You know, my favorite thing about Gears of War is that you you did the perfect reloads and your character would say something cool like, Magazines fuller, half chubbed, ready to kill. <laughs> <laughs> Half mass and ready to slay. <laughs> Half mass and ready to slay ass. Yeah. That would be a lot funnier if you said that. Oh, I, this is not the way to go. My favorite is when you start off like a Black Ops 2 match. He's like, shut up, clock in and load out. Yeah. <laughs> and then you just think that's the most rad shit. And you would uh, steal people's uh, emblem because it has boobies on it. Dang, I... I love, they have like titty detectors, tit and dick detectors now in video games. Yeah, which is very disappointing. Like, I went on to a Black Ops 2, 1 lobby recently, or in recent times, and everyone had like a titty or dick. Or it's just KKK or like black people, which is kind of funny. Because it, it was a product of its time. 2014, 2015 was the year of racism. But like... Funny racism. Like 4chan racism. 4chan ruined an entire generation of people. Yeah. Like the, I have to say, I am proudly from the filthy Frank 4chan generation and I'm a worse person for it. I, uh, yeah, I was on 4chan a lot younger than I should have been and. Wasn't everyone though? Not really. You talk, out. you talk to some people and they're fucking scared of 4chan, even though it's pretty much dead now. You know, some people saw, still see 4chan as like, Hacker Anonymous will steal your mommy's credit card if you look at it for too long. Yeah, and then you like, uh, they download Tor Browser once with their homies at nighttime, and, and then they don't do anything because they're scared. <laughs> Tor is... I, it took me until last year to finally know what Tor was, because I always thought it was like the fucking deep, dark rape you in the mouth web. You're about to get sold to ISIS for food. Where it's like, no, uh, some people just go in there to buy like acid or like radical shit. You can respect that from people. You don't want grandma finding out they use a computer to buy acid. Yeah, you, you go on your Linux because Windows will detect anything. No, no, you're Hackintosh. Yeah, <laughs> you're Hackintosh. You don't know what a Hackintosh is? It's when you get Mac OS on a... It's on anything that isn't a Mac. Yeah. Watch this, this is the skip of the lifetime. I'm about to die. Where the fuck? Is this guy down here? My, the mouse is on the screen again. Can you move that? Bang! Just like that. Oh. That's all there is to it! That's, okay, that's now all you there is to it! A winner! Thank you. So you daze them, and then they like smoking. I forgot how much we pumped into that one trait. Yeah, we don't have it maxed out though, so we don't... I'm assuming it gets pretty OP at some point. Yeah, you always, like, stun them, and then they just stand there like... Another brick in the wall. We don't need we no education. <laughs> we don't need no female consent. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Put that lube down! <laughs> dun dun. <laughs> All in all, he's just a Another cock in the ass. Oh, a brute! Is that a slur? That's a hard enemy. Oh, let's let's watch this. Let's see. Oh no, no bounty hunters, ball hunters. You guys aren't friends. Okay. It would've been funny if it was like big old cock. <laughs> Ooh, he's a big boy. Damn, boy, he. Big. Maybe we let's, let's stun him. Number one stunner. Alright, we got this locked and loaded. 
Mm. He's got a kitem. I'm not leveling. Why is everything in this game like 400 levels higher than you? You put that AO, you put that dot on him, and then you just wait. It's like how some games scale forever. Yeah. This is you're you're in the Kanta region. You ain't supposed to be here yet. But I want to be in your region, baby. You somehow got the fly disc and put it on your Pidgey. I don't think Pidgey can fly. Can Pidgey fly? I'm gonna Google this right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask Siri. Hey Siri. What's zero divided by zero? Oh yeah, I have, I have Australian Siri. Uh, okay. Oh, come back here. Where's? Where? Uh, can Pidgey fly? Sorry, I'm still not sure about that. You're kind of a bitch, though. <laughs> Siri's like the least helpful person. She won't even like respond to you if you ask. Like Siri's like dumb as hell, and she's like doesn't want to feel dumb as hell. Yeah, we need like Cortana or Glados. No, no, no. Cortana is actually the uh, but the she windows. uses Bing. <laughs> Cortana uses Bing. I feel like that's realistic though. Like if you like like hey Cortana, what's the information? Cortana searches on being in. <laughs> Imagine that Cortana's like the robo bitch. Yeah. And then she searches it on being in like Matt. She's like use fucking Google. <laughs> yeah, like Cortana is like Plankton's wife, <laughs> and uh, Sari. I don't know. Siri's also Plankton's wife. <laughs> she's also Cortana from Halo. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Gamer move. Oh, 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 oh. wait. Bazinga. It's objectively worse. You didn't say it with me. Oh. Bazinga. We were supposed. <sighs> no audio? Stop moving. Bazinga. <laughs> there you go. Look at this, it's gonna be the vault key. Oh, it's a fragment of the vault key. Just 18 more of those to go. But this is the best gun because it um it launches people. Not not like that, but you'll see it. Yeah, you don't have no ragdoll physics. 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 It's like how they spell technique in Fortnite with like coolness, so you know they're they're dope. It, oh, it, where is this do you remember uh the guy, he, he, this guy, he quit Epic Games, and he's like, we're going to make the best game out there, Lawbreakers. And he's like, just, oh my god. Wait, did you see him launch? Yeah. It was like Funny Giant from Skyrim. <laughs> I've been playing a lot of that game, so that's why I'll bring it up as much as I do. Ah. Uh, Father now. Well, that, <laughs> you massacred our girl. Also, I'm going to... How do you, I not compare, but... Can we give her funny TF2 skins? What? Can we make her the demolition guy? Uh, the, the drunk uh, demo man? Yeah. If I had a nickel for every time I drank, I would have at least four nickels. Are you doing Nikolai from fucking <laughs> Black Ops Zombies? Nikolai! Remember when you would call you like a pussy when you were getting off your friends and you'd be like, hey, you're a pussy. Yeah. They'd be like, shut up, man! It's just, I was just trying to train him in Noctura Totem! You'd, you'd restart the map over and over until you got Nikolai or Dempsey because yeah, you like. Yeah, I never wanted the woman. Uh, I, I like Dempsey because he was Steve Bloom and it was just Steve Bloom being angry. I like you. I like Steve Bloom because he's Spike Spiegel. Spick Spaggle? Yeah. Oh no, that's a bad one. You see that? Got all those bullets. My favorite is when you do a melee build in any game and you can just sell any gun. We got them fat stacks we can spend. New Rick Owens cost a check. If I, I got, want, it, then I gotta have that shit. I got red, I got blue, what you want. <laughs> Little Tekka sucks. 
I'm not going to be the first one or the last one to say He's that. 17. Let him be jumped at least once. <laughs> You're not a real gangster unless you got shot 15 times in the yeah. chest. Yeah. Sin style. And we need more games about rappers. We need like... What was that? Wasn't there a rapper fighting game? Def, like, uh, Def Jam. Really? Yeah. And it had like Wu-Tang members. It had like Snoop Dogg. You can have Snoop Dogg versus DMX. And Snoop Dogg like, hey, was that a face nasal nasal? And then like DMX is like, hoo oh, oh. <laughs> hoo! You know, fucking... They had, they had the curb stomps in that game. Oh my god, we're going to be complete. We're... Class mods, you're just now telling me this. You're just now telling me that you can get both a taco and burrito at Taco Bell? Dude, what? what's the difference? Well, you see, one's a burrito and one's a taco. I hate it when they are so... It's so patronizing when you're like, uh, a three layer burrito. Five layer burrito? Five layer? And you're like, uh, yeah. It's always a different layer of burrito, and then they pi then they piss in your mouth if you call the wrong burrito something. And it's crazy, like, I wonder if they, like, piss in all the Frito burritos, and that's why they're so cheap. <laughs> it's, uh, it, they're actually just, um, uh, pocket pussies. <laughs> they have the consistency and, like, rubbery, because you bite into it, and you have to rip that shit out. Yeah, because Frito burritos are about as cheap as buying, like, a condiment in the dollar store. It's like the, uh, the Japanese, like, pocket pussies in the vending machines. You can buy, damn, Japan's like, Japan has two vending machines at like way too much stuff in them. Okay, the thing is it's so convenient and... Who the, restocks the vending machines? They... Jesus? Yamaterasu. <laughs> the, 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 I want to play Okan. I watched, uh, the first ever Let's Play I watched pretty sure was... I'm burping, I'm drinking kombucha. Uh, uh, Okami, um... The, the dog? No, yeah, Okami, played by, um, uh, Chugga Conroy. I've never heard of that, but he sounds radical. He's a, he's a long-time Let's Player. He's a very Christian boy. Do you know who the Rad Brad is? No, we... He, he buys, like, <laughs> every single new game, will play through the whole game, and he's just like, Alright guys, uh, this is episode, <laughs> and then he would just do, like, He's the most bland, basic guy. It's like you, it's like eating white bread every day. Oh. He didn't say open. He, he teased <laughs> so, me. Yeah, it was a little bit of that. Like I'm not gonna let you come yet. You have to he do gave my us laundry. A little bit of Monica by our side. A little bit of penis. What you need? Um, oh crap! Discovered. You know what's crazy about this place? It's the end of the episode. Yeah, gamers. Uh, bye, bitch. <laughs>